First, I will start with the image plane. Go to front view, press Shift and B. Go to back and select the image plane. Increase the transparency and I will give it some offset. Then I will add my first object, a cylinder. First, let's turn off the caps. Then I will set my height segments to 1 and rotation to 12. Then I will change the orientation to Z. And make it big enough to mesh the shape. Something like that. Now I will switch to right view. And I will load my image plane one more time. Shift and V. Select the image. And uh, I will offset my image plane one more time. Something like that. And I will make it editable. Now I switch to points mode. Select this point and move them like that. Also, let's move them too. But... As you can see, our image plane doesn't match. So to do that, I will press Shift and V and increase my Y axis until I mesh the shape. Something like that is enough. Then I will press Ctrl and select Edge Mode. This is going to convert the points to edges. Then I will press Ctrl and move these edges. Then Scale, extrude one more time, and scale. Then scale them one more time, press Ctrl. But this time I will right click and select Collapse. And I will do the same thing here. Extrude and Collapse. Now I will add a cube and make the size similar. And I will also enable my fillet and increase the radius something like that. Then I will make the cube editable. Press C. I will switch to polygon mode and I will delete these polygons. We won't use them. I will also switch to points mode. I will select them all, Ctrl A, and optimize them because we have some duplicated points. We can do them manually, select them well, but I will just select them all and say optimize. This is gonna weld them. Now I will solo my object, right click, close polygonal and close these polygon holes. Then I will select line cuts, enable single line and I will connect these points. Okay, now I will add additional loop cuts. This is going to hold this curve shape. Add another one here. And... Let's turn off the solo. Now I will add a pool object and put them inside. But I will change my boolean type to union. I will also enable create single object, then press C, make that bool object editable. And I will go to top view and select these sides and I will delete them because I will use cylinder, uh, sorry, symmetry later. Now I will switch to slide mode and I will weld this point. I will be pressing Ctrl and slide them to the next point. This is going to weld them. So for here, I need to make a new path. So I will select the line cut. Make a cut something like that. And I can weld this point. And slide that one. Also, I need another cut. Here. Okay, let's also connect these points. Okay, that part looks a lot softer. So, first I will 
move the points like that then I will move that edge but I will change my modeling axis orientation and world then I will select that edge press ctrl and sh shift then select the last one then I will move them on the x-axis and I will also scale them and I think I need to move these edges more and also I will slide these points to relax this area it's too tight and we can also move these points and also I need to scale these edges press ctrl select the first edge press ctrl shift then select the last one then I will switch to scale t but I will set my y to minus 100 so I can scale it them from the bottom like that and I will select these edges and move them like that and also I will move that edge to now I will select these edges right click select slide press ctrl and slide and also I will move these points more okay let's select the object press alt and select the symmetry and I will press alt one more time and select subdivision surface looks nice but we need to add some edge loops so I will select these polygons or I can select these edges right click slide press control and by the way I can delete these polygons and we can move our points to match our shape I will select these edges and move them on the z-axis this is gonna make here a lot softer let's try to match the shape I will slide that edge a little then I will move on to the front part but it, after that point our object won't be symmetrical so I can make my symmetry object visible press C and I will select these edges also set the Y to 0 press ctrl and extrude then scale it with the T and I will move it I will move these edges on the x-axis something like that then I will let a loop cut somewhere here then double click then scale but also you should move them up okay let's add another one around here scale it one more time now I will switch to scale press T also press ctrl and extrude and I will move them on the x-axis by press ctrl this is gonna make an extrusion then I will double click on that edge loop then press ctrl and do that one more time but move it to the very far then I will select the loop selection and delete these polygons by the way you can select easily just press V cut selection and loop selection now I will select loop cut 
and make these loop cuts I press shift this is gonna snap and I will loop selection here and scale let's enable subdivision surface it looks like I need to scale this point No, double, I will double click on that UV island, then right click, extrude, but turn on caps, something like that. And I will add a loop cut around here. And we got a fong angle issue, so I will select my fong tank and increase my angle. This is going to soften these edges. And I will also add a look at right around here. Then I will right click. No, sorry. I will make a loop selection. Select these inside polygons, right click and split. Then I will select these edges and move them. It looks like I need to scale these polygons, so see which polygon mode loop selection select these polygons then i will scale them and also a loop cut to the very edge to that edge now let's look at that part i will select these polygons right click extrude inner then i will right click and split these polygons first i will hide the new polygons then select my original mesh just control and extrude then i will delete these polygons and also look at to hold these edges now i will turn on my new object that's solo it then i will double click on outer edges and press control and extrude then same thing loop cut and add loop cut around here now i will make another extrude inner but this time i will move them on the z-axis okay let's turn off the solo and i will select the model of my objects and press alt and g this is gonna make them group so the subdivision surface will work for every one of them It looks like I need to slide some of these edges, select them, then slide. Then I will go to top view and move these points. Okay, a lot better. Now I will select these edges, right click and select bevel and set subdivision to 1 and make a really small bevel like that you won't even see that then i will select the middle edges and i will scale them then i will select loop cuts and add these loop cuts i don't know the exact shape of this object but i think these points should be like that i am not very sure but okay now let's uh, try to these small details like this hole but if i look at my object it doesn't have enough subdivision to make these things so i need to subdivide these objects but first, I will add a loop cut around here because it's, it is very empty. I need to fill here. But this time, I will turn on preserve curvature. So that loop cut hold, hold the shape. Let's press Q to see the result. Yeah. Maybe I can slide these edges back they are too close ok 
Okay, select subdivision surface and set the editor and render to one. And I will make the subdivision surface editable. Press C. Now I can add small details like that hole. First, let's create a scene dish and scale it until it matches the shape of that hole. Then I will move it. So it is in the middle of four polygons, which means that I will need eight segments. And I will hit set my height segments to one. Then I will select my object, press Alt and select Tool. Then I will put that cylinder under my object in the pool. Then I will select pool and enable create single object, then press C. This is going to make the pool editable. Now I will right click and switch to slide tool. And I will at this point, press Ctrl and move the points to the, to the next one. Now I need to close connect these points, I will select line cut and connect the points. Now I will select the slide one more time, double click on these edges, press ctrl and move. And I will do that one more time for the inside. Also here. Okay, now let's add that group into subdivision surface, press out and select subdivision surface. Perfect. So you can add this kind of details like that. Like this one. So that was it guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorials. Bye.